Right now I'm gonna show you how to use the Shark Stain Striker. We're gonna clean up a mess with it here on the carpet. We're gonna clean up the stain. But first, before that, let me just briefly go over the machine so you can know how it works here. So this is one of the only carpet cleaners that I've seen that has a dual tank system. So you've got two different cleaners here and two different tanks. So this larger tank here, you just grab the handle and simply pull it out. This is going to be diluted solution. So you'll fill it up with water to the fill line here, and then you'll pour in the solution the rest of the way to the other fill line. And it's just a simple screw cap here to fill it up with water. Then it goes back into position. And now we have just a, another tank here, which is just going to have solution in it. So it comes with both of these when you get it, and you'll just fill it up with solution there. It does have a max fill line, and then that goes back into position. It comes with these two head attachments here that are separate and that you would attach to the handle here. This one's a three and a half inch tool, and this one is a pet mess tool. And I'll show you how these work in a second here. Now on the machine here, once you're done, you've cleaned up everything, this is gonna fill up with dirty water and stuff that you've extracted from your carpet or project that you're cleaning. The handle here, you just lift it up, it pulls out. Nice thing is it does sit upright on its own so you don't have to worry about it tipping over. You can set it down and then you're just gonna continue the handle all the way over. It does have a little bit of a lock mechanism there. So you just go to make the handle go all the way over and it releases the lid here. So when you're done, it's got a nice wide mouth here. You can dump out your dirty water and crud that you suck up. And then you can go ahead and rinse and clean everything off up there. And then we'll just put it back down into position, put the handle back, and then it can go back on the machine. The power button's right here on the top. The cord is nice and neat. It does have a quick release here, so you can turn that around and get the cord off very easily. And then on the other side is where your handle and head attachment is going to be. It does have a little groove and track here so that you can go ahead and line it up into place. So that's it as far as the machine goes. Let's put it to work and learn more about its functionality and how it picks up messes. So get your stain striker prepped, fill up the large reservoir with water and then pour in the cleaning solution and then fill up the smaller container reservoir as well with just the cleaning solution. This one does not need to be diluted. So now that we've got our machine filled up, we're ready to go ahead and use it. All we're gonna do is decide which head attachment that we want to use. So I've got three stains here. This is just ketchup that I've spilled and kind of rubbed into the carpet. And we've got three different head attachments here. We're gonna start with the three and a half inch tool. So one cool feature about this is that it does have a reversible scrub head. So these are really tiny, you know, plastic bristles. And those are really good for agitating stains right on the surface. So if you're doing upholstery or car seats and even carpet, of course, this works really well. And then if you flip it over here, you've got this right here and these are rubber pieces. So these are, you know, it's not super hard. It is flexible rubber, but these are rubber pieces that really can get deep into the carpet and especially high or thick pile carpet. So we'll go ahead and pick which one you want to use. For this one, I'm just gonna use the traditional bristles here. And for the head attachment, it does have this hose cleaning tool on it already, so we will have to pull that off of there. But go ahead and set that aside because we're gonna use that at the end to clean it. So set that aside here and built in on the handle is a narrow path tool and it's got the bristles there as well, and that's where the water squirts out, the nozzle there, and then the trigger is what's gonna uh, start everything to squirt the water. So go ahead and put the head attachment on that you want to use, so we're using the three and a half inch tool. The first thing that we're gonna do is soak down the stain. So we're gonna turn the machine on, we're gonna pull the trigger, our cleaning solution and water is gonna come out of this spray nozzle here, we're gonna soak down that stain, we're gonna agitate it a little bit, and then we're gonna suck it up here. So at the tip or the head of the vacuum, you have these little slots here, and that's what sucks the water and extracts the stain out of the carpet here. So let's go ahead and turn it on and get started here. Mm. 
So you'll get it nice and saturated depending on the stain. If this is an older stain especially, you want to let that carpet cleaner work the stain a little bit, break it down, and then you start extracting. This is a fresher stain, so we don't really need to do that. Let's go ahead and extract it immediately. So to do that, we're going to tilt the nozzle head and press down into the carpet. So you need to come down kind of at an angle, press it firmly into the carpet, and you'll see all that stuff get sucked up. Now we're going to repeat the process. You spray it, you scrub it, you extract. Spray, scrub, extract. Typically on these stains it's going to take about three goes, so I'll probably have another two passes on it here. Yeah, just about average there, three passes. You do want to extract enough water so it's not sopping wet, it's just lightly damp to the touch. So now to remove it, you just press the button on the top of the handle, pull that attachment off, and now it all comes apart. Even the top clear plastic cover here comes off. Now you can clean this out, set it aside, let it dry, and uh, wait until further use. So that's one of the cool features about the Shark Stain Striker here is that all of this comes apart, so it makes it really easy to clean up. Now this is the Pet Stain tool. Think about pet messes. Think about nasty things on the carpet, on the ground, that you do not want to get into the hose or in your vacuum cleaner. This is going to extract everything and it's going to keep it right here in this container. So just like the previous head attachment, you just slide it on here. It snaps and clicks into place. The nozzle here, again, on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and spray the stain and repeat the steps here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the head attachment here and then show you that. So you can see all of that stuff is now locked into this container. So yeah, nasty pet messes that we don't want getting into our machine. We can go ahead and get trapped here or sucked up in here and then we can go ahead and just pour that out. So you could lock that back on there or discard this, right? You just get rid of that now and then it does have a twist to lock component. So it's got a a lock and an unlock icon here, letting you know it's in place. And then just like our other head attachment here, it does come apart here to allow you to scrub it down. The only difference here is that these are the hard rubber pieces and this does not uh, remove here. So this is locked into place and that's the only difference there. So again, you would clean that down, set it aside, let it dry out, put it all back together and then just store it before for future use. So next here, I just want to show you, this is the crevice tool or narrow path cleaning area. So think about, you know, behind couches and between stuff, just little things. I like to use this to clean where the crevice of the uh, carpet on the stairs meet. So you know where the back of the stair and the front of the stair meet, and you've got that area right there. This gets really good in there, so I like it for that, but you can use it for you know any application. So the same thing here, you've got the nozzle there that's gonna spray the water, and this is where the water gets extracted here. So we'll go ahead and work on this mess here. And that's it as far as extracting and working on stains. Now the last thing you want to do before you're done with the machine is rinse it out. So all of that stuff is getting collected and running through this hose here. So you see it's uh, got those different uh, ridges there. So it's got a lot of different places for stuff to get stuck and create issues and get dirty and, and create bacteria. So what you're going to do with the hose cleaning tool is you're just going to slide it over the top here. And then that's covering up our nozzle here that the water sprays out of, and it's redirecting it back into the machine. So basically, we're just rinsing everything out. You'll turn it on, pull the trigger, and just run that water and cleaning solution through the hose. And that is it. That's how you use it. I would just leave it on a little bit longer and let it suck up all of that water there. Mm. 
And now the last thing to do would be to go ahead and remove the dirty water reservoir, just like I showed you before. And now we can go ahead and empty it out, rinse it off and ma maintain our machine if there's any maintenance to do. You do wanna check different areas of the machine, make sure that no hair, dirt, dust or debris is clogging it. And then that's it, rinse it out. Uh, let it sit and dry, put it back together, and then store it until you need to use it again. And that is how you use the Shark Stain Striker.